Yo, 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 what up, what up? We're talking about exchanges leaving the United States. They are packing up their bags and they are just saying, well, if you guys are gonna give us a hard time, we'll take our business elsewhere with countries a lot more friendlier than you and we'll be able to do our thing how we want and nobody can stop us. And um, I think this whole thing with the United States coming after Binance is the biggest load of crap we've seen in a while, guys. Right up here, I have a tab pulled up. I have HitBTC, which is an exchange based in the British Islands. I'm in the United States, guys, I'm right here. And you can go on this, this website right here uh, this platform hit BTC and you can do futures trading. You can do a whole wide range of different um, different trading pairs with different trading instruments with leverage trades, all that thing against tether, dollars, all sorts of crap. So um, my question to anybody watching this channel, watching this episode is how is it that Binance is getting under attack Why all these other shady exchanges, uh, and I've lost multiple Bitcoins on this exchange by the way guys, are able to operate freely without any issues. I mean, if they're gonna give pressure to Binance, why aren't they doing this around the board? Uh, Bittrex recently this week has said that they are just packing up and leaving. They're like, okay, well, you know, um, sorry guys, we're, we're out of the US. They're giving it too much of a hard time and uh, we can take our business elsewhere and not have these type problems. So it's exactly what Bittrex did today, guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a large exodus of exchanges out of the United States because the more regulatory pressure that is put on these exchanges, the harder it's gonna be for them to stay afloat, stay in business, and keep up with this changing regulation. Nobody's sitting here going, here's the regulations, here's what it is. That's why we're in this huge mess with XRP. That's why we're in this huge mess with Binance. And basically right now, the CFTC is suing Binance right now because they're saying that Binance has basically been listing a whole list of unregistered securities and basically this is a load of crap guys binance has gone through and achieved more licensors more licenses in a variety of they have the most licenses out of any exchange in the world no other exchange has as many uh licenses and um, um accreditations as binance has and binance up till this point has been the most trusted exchange known to man I mean, where were we? Nobody was nobody was knocking on SBF's door uh, when down in the Bahamas when everything was good in 2021 and even 2022, guys. I mean, nobody was uh, regulating any of this stuff. And now that this stuff has happened with FTX, they're trying to lump Binance into this simply because Binance is Chinese. And I would not be surprised if CZ gets fed up with this and he takes Binance US down and just shuts it down. And you know what? There's plenty of money, there's plenty of countries around the world that will do business with Binance. And in fact, Binance US is a very small, small fish in the whole overall Binance volley trading volume. So a lot of these exchanges are gonna say, you know, screw you guys. If you guys are gonna give us a hard time, we could easily take our business elsewhere. And there are a lot more crypto friendly countries that will embrace and, and welcome uh, this kind of technology into their country. And if, if the US is set behind on this, so be it. Uh, it won't stop crypto. Nobody can actually stop crypto. Just because the exchanges go down, all that's gonna happen, if exchanges keep leaving the United States, which they would not dare do, the United States wouldn't get to the point where they push all the exchanges away. Because if they really wanted to hurt crypto, they would ban crypto mining which we have the largest amount of hash power out of any country, single country in the entire world. I think we have about 34% of all the hash power on BTC Core in the entire world. So the US is not gonna dare do this. And if they really wanted to hinder crypto innovation and stop cryptocurrency, they would shut down their hash power, but they're not doing that. They're playing double, they're, 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 they're playing both, both sides of the fence here. And they're saying, hey, well, you know, we don't, we don't like this, we don't like that, we don't like this, well, make up your, mind what is the regulation and give us some sort of guidance on what you want us to do so we can perform what you want to do so we can move on because nothing up to this point has been given so no none of these exchanges really know what to do they binance has gotten all the licensures uh, there's multiple exchanges that have gotten every single license to operate here in the united states and it's not enough it's still not enough and it's never going to be enough because the and the deep down root core of how the governments and the Fed work is they in the CFT, CFTC and the SEC and all these freaking clowns work is they want to basically try to make it as hard as possible. It's just like they did with solar energy. It's just like they did with electric cars. All these technologies have been around for hundreds of years, guys. I mean, you can go back and look at it yourself. I'm not going to sit here and 
and, and try to convince you of it. The, the United States is trying to control profits. They're trying to control the, their, 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 uh, their money supply. And unfortunately, they printed so much damn money crypto is just going to run wild guys and there's not going to be any, any any way that they can stop it the more problems we get out of the united states the higher crypto prices will go and the higher hash power will go on btc core to the united states because at the end of the day they're not going to give up the hash power on crypto because if they give up hash power on crypto that is really losing the power to crypto and they wouldn't dare do that they just want to try to push this narrative on you guys so you guys will be believe it get out of your positions and then have all these partnerships with these these exchanges come in and scoop up your positions and sell it back to you at a later point. That's exactly what the bank's done. That's exactly what they did in 2008, 2009 with the, the housing crisis. The banks swooped in and uh, picked up, uh, cleaned up all the mess and then resold it to everybody else 10 times over again. So this is just an update on guys and why I think the crypto exchanges should leave the United States. They shouldn't sit around and tolerate this crap because the world market will dictate these prices and push these prices north Regardless, let me know what you think, guys. Drop it in the comments. Just a little update on, um, you know, this stuff with Bittrex and, uh, you know, some of this stuff going on with Binance. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Talk to you later.